If you're not the one, then what does my soul feel like today? If you're not the one, then what does my hand fit yours this way? If you are not mine, then what does your heart return my call? If you are not mine, would I have the strength to stand at all? I never know what the future brings, but I know you're here with me now. We'll make it through, and I hope you are the one. by Daniel Beddingfield, singer-songwriter from, I think he's British and he's also from New Zealand. However, this was a really big hit for him back in 2002, at least it was here in, in Europe. I think it did make it over into the US though, and, and did well as well. So we take a look of course at a guitar arrangement. I have seen him being accompanied by a guitar player here and there, who made it sounds very exotic. <laughs> Actually playing everything, I think even in the absolute key of B-flat, I'm not too sure about that, I, mm. uh, I have to admit. I would say take an easier route and go for the key of G instead. Okay, put the guitar here on the third fret in order to of course match the uh, original and then it results into really easy chords. A G and a C and a D, so the one, four, five there. Chord two, A minor and E minor chord six and that is actually already it. Maybe a few additional notes would be nice like for a G, in particular this D here, the third fret of the second string, so a G with an added fifth or a C with an added ninth. For D I like to leave the top string open so it's a D sus two then. For A minor I like to leave the third string open and then you have an A minus seven, even include maybe the high G there, here and there and E minor, well, in general, just as it is. So this should be really doable, if you ask me. I chose to go for a finger-picking arrangement, even though I do like to strum, like, maybe the final chorus in order to, you know, really build it up a little bit there. It's a very slow song, so most of the notes you're playing should be just like, you know, a flow, a steady flow of 16 notes. Maybe an occasional 8 note to let the bass note ring or a higher note which sounds nice. Like this particular D again. Let it ring just a little bit there. What I mean with 16 notes is like 4 notes in one beat. Which you would count out as 1 E and A. So 1 E and a 2, 3. Four. That was the first verse. One E and a two, three E and a four, and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a and so on. So you really should find a way of just you know filling up those measures. This is definitely not what I like to say, written in stone or anything uh, like that. 
So I did write out uh, quite a bit, like uh, the first verse and the pre-chorus and the chorus, an example of the first, I mean the second verse there as well. So it absolutely should give you an idea of how you could finger pick your way through it. We're not going to discuss the strumming too much. It's double time, so your hand is moving at the speed of 16. So again, one and two. simple, don't overthink it for that matter. There's a little ch challenge maybe there, because very often, like, well, whatever, I'll get to that in the lesson, uh, there would be like two chords in a measure, and then when going from one to the other, it would be at like the A uh, of B2, so giving it a really syncopated feel there. You don't have to, but it is really nice to do so. I mean, that's what's happening on the on the record. So, for example, let me see. Um, uh, yes, one and a two B and a, and that's when you move to. I um, was going from a D to a C there. One and a two B and a, and then maybe let it ring and pick it up from the E of B three. One and a two B and a. Well, indeed, I will give you uh, a close-up look for the for this hand, and we'll talk through the examples that you can use there. Anything else? Well, I'm sure there is. <laughs> you need to check those details, of course, in the lesson, which is uploaded now at TotallyGuitars.com. Feel free to check it out and uh, have fun with it.